sitting down together for their first joint interview since those accusations of sexual misconduct surfaced against the candidate. With her husband by her side, Melania Trump addressed that issue, the campaign's impact on their family, and what she'd like to do as first lady. You said at the beginning, if you run, you'll win. You still feel that? I feel that. I feel that. I see the connection with the American people. My husband, and uh, he created a movement. And the crowd and the people that are behind him, it's unbelievable to see. Does it make you want to get out there yourself and help him out the final two weeks? <laughs> we will see. Uh, my priority is my son, Baron, our son, Baron. And uh, I support him 100%, and I'm there for him every time he needs me. And uh, I might join him. We will see. She's actually going to make two or three speeches. Oh. And I will tell you. <laughs> it's, it is right there. Okay. No, it is. It's, it's, she's amazing when she speaks. She's an amazing public speaker. So uh, she's agreed to do two or three speeches. And I think it's going to be big speeches, important speeches. You mentioned I think it's going to be great. You mentioned Barron, and I wonder, you know, we're going to be talking to the other kids in just a minute. How has the experience been for him? He's heard his father say a lot of tough things, heard a lot of tough things said about his father. How does he take it all in? I teach him, I explain to him so he knows what's going on, and uh, he's, um, he's taking very well. Uh, I keep him balanced and uh, just have him a childhood as normal as possible and he's enjoying his school and his sports he's a great athlete and i just want to have him um, out of the spotlight for now does he ask you about the news though yes no? all the time he asks me about the polls all the time that's and very cute it's like his dad he follows the polls no, he's <laughs> polls. how's he's, he doing in the polls <laughs> he's uh, of course he misses his dad uh, a lot at these days but uh, he's doing great and if you could look back over this campaign and say two things, what has been the best moment, what's been the worst? The best moment, uh, the movement that he created and uh, showed the people what he wants to do for the country. And the worst, I would say, dishonest media. And You guys talk about this a lot. What, what is so unfair? about what's about the coverage overall well I, I can just speak for myself that uh, I don't want to mention a specific act but so often they'll say oh Donald Trump said this or he said that and what I said wasn't wrong what I said was fine if a Democrat had said it if Hillary had said it people would have, they wouldn't have even thought about it but I'll say something that's absolutely perfect George and the next day it's headlines Donald Trump said this or that that comes now, with the territory know, though doesn't it no 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 look I went to an Ivy League school. I was a good student. I'm a very smart person. I, I know what I'm saying. Now, there have been some instances where I could have done it a little bit differently, but sometimes I'll say something that's absolutely perfect, and I'll get a call after an interview, like with you. Oh, did you say this or that? And they'll skew it so Unfair. But people see it for themselves, they make up their own minds. Well, they don't really, because what happens is you poison the minds. You really do. The media poisons the mind of the American voter. They really do. It's unfair. But the thing is, the American voter is really smart. I mean, I'm going to see how smart they are. But the American voter, I, I think the American voter is smarter than the media. It's clear you both feel very, very strongly uh, about this. Clearly, you know, we all know, and you've answered some questions about this since that Access Hollywood tape came out. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. He apologized to you for that. But you said at the third debate, you didn't apologize to her about the women. The stories are all totally false. I have to say that. And I didn't even apologize to my wife, who's sitting right here, because I didn't do anything. Was that okay with you? They were, they were lies. And as I said before, all the accusations, they should uh, be handled in a court of law. So you believe the lawsuit should go forward? Uh, yes, I believe that. And because to uh, without evidence, it's very hurtful and it's very damaging and unfair. And, um, but honestly, do we still need to talk about that? I think American people want to hear the problems that we have in America. She's so right about they, that? She's so they, right about that? They want to hear what we will do to make America better. Let's talk about jobs. Let's talk about secure our border. 
That's what American people want to say. I, 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 I think people just to finish. I can't apologize for something that I didn't do. Nothing ever took. But it's more likely to go away if you don't sue. We'll see what happens, okay? Let's see what happens on the 8th, November 8th. Have you thought more about what you'd like to do as First Lady? I will focus on helping children and women and also about social media in this uh, 21st century. What's going on It's very hurtful to children, uh, to some adults as well, but we need to take care of children. Hard to keep it away from your kids. Uh, it is, but we need to teach them how to use it, what is right to say, what is not right to say, and uh, because it's very bad out there and children get hurt. By? By social media by what's going on and by negativity. Do you give him advice about tweets? Yes, I do, all the time. <laughs> well, I look, it's a modern day form of communication, George. And you know, I have between Facebook and Twitter, I have 25 million people. It's a, it's a big asset. You have to use it right, but it's a big asset. But she'll but tell you when you use it wrong. She, she can give me very good advice, believe me. But what she's saying is true, though. I've seen so many people hurt so badly, not just children, I mean, just people are hurt so badly by new social media and she feels very strongly about it she understands it very well, well. it's very dangerous for children. the new york times was all the people they say you've insulted well that's on okay. twitter that's okay were you one of them <laughs> actually i wasn't i was, I was oh, a little surprised at that i'm surprised let's go check it i can't believe i didn't include you no look i believe in fighting back when people are against me when they tell lies you know, I have the power of this this instrument, and frankly, sometimes I'll use that. And I agree, sometimes it will revert back, or sometimes maybe it doesn't come out. You have to be careful with it. What do you think about Hillary Clinton, not as a candidate? I know you believe that Mr. Trump will be a better president of the United States. What do you think of her as a person? I don't know her that well. I think she's out there fighting. I think uh, it's... Uh political uh, machine behind it, behind her. Uh, she's protected a lot and uh, they will not say everything what needs to be said. And finally, you're okay with what happens no matter how the vote goes on November 8th? Yes, the life goes on no matter what happens. But he's gonna win? I think so. We're fighting till the